So in this video, I'm going to be looking at the Constant Contact website builder and giving you my review on this product. This is my first look at Constant Contact. It's kind of the first time I've used it, and I want to let you guys know sort of what I think about it so far and who I think that this website builder is best suited for. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you guys find the best and easiest ways of building great looking websites. And if while you're watching this review, you're interested in trying out Constant Contact Website Builder for yourself, I'll include a link down below to the free trial of Constant Contact. And that link helps to support this channel and it helps to support the reviews and the free tutorials that I make. So I appreciate your support. And if you want to know what my top recommendations are for website builders, definitely check out the link at the top of the video and down in the description below. And once I have that video created, I will share with you guys what my top recommended website builders are and what my top recommended website builders are for various different scenarios. So let's dive in and take a look at the Constant Contact website builder. So this here is the website that I've made with the Constant Contact website builder. And it's this portfolio website that I've been trying to build with various different website building platforms just to kind of get a feel for what the different website building platforms do, how they work and how they handle different elements. And I was definitely able to create a pretty good looking website. I even tested out sort of the restaurant menu functionality of Constant Contact, and you do get a few different look options for your menu items. And so sort of on a first impression, I think that there's a lot to like about Constant Contact. Uh, there's some things that I found a little bit frustrating that I think that they can improve on. So let's start out by taking a look at how you get started building your website with Constant Contact. Because right after the sign up or right after you start creating a new website with Constant Contact, that's really where the builder functionality starts working. So this is where you start when you want to create a new site with Constant Contact. The first thing you do is you pick a category. So I'm going to start out with restaurant. And what this does is it sort of starts developing some pages for you, some pages that you might want to use, and sort of the overall look of the website. And basically what Constant Contact is doing is just recommending for you different pages, different sections, and an overall style for your website. So the first thing I ask you to do is create a name for your website. Enter that in there. And then you have some options of some free images that you can use, or of course you can upload your own image. And if you have a logo, you can upload your own logo. And now this is the part that I start to like about Constant Contact Website Builder and some of the other website builders that I've tested, where the first things that they're asking you to do are to, in this case, set up a color scheme for your website. And then right after this, it asks you to create some font pairings. And that's definitely one of the things that I recommend in my tutorial videos when you're building a website, is one of the first things you should do is come up with a color palette so that you have consistent colors across your entire website. And then the other thing you do is that you come up with some font pairings or some fonts that you want to use on your website so that consistently across your entire website, you're using the same fonts. And what's nice about the Constant Contact Website Builder is that both your color palette and your fonts are consistent across your whole website. And I also like the fact that you can manually choose and select your fonts or your color palette so you're not tied into the suggestions that they offer you. You can also choose your uh, menu style that you want. And so you're not tied to anything in a specific template or theme. You can actually modify each of these things at any point in time on your website. So I also like that flexibility of being able to change your mind later on. And this here is one of the pages that I really like uh, that Constant Contact offers, where you can scroll back and forth and you can see all of the pages on your website in sort of this zoomed out view, which I think is definitely very helpful. So now let's go ahead and look at how you add content or modify the content on your pages. So to add new content to your page, you just simply choose one of the plus icons that appears at the bottom of a section. And then Constant Contact offers all these different pre-designed blocks of content that you can choose from. And there's a lot of different options to choose from. And this is a great way if you're you know, not really a designer to sort of get started building your website. And all you have to do is just select what looks the most appealing for you for the kind of content that you want to add. Now, if we go back to the website that I was working on, we have got this uh, second section here which I built. And what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to be able to have sort of teasers for the various different types of portfolios that I had on my portfolio website. So I wanted to have one portfolio for fire photography, one portfolio for my specialty photography, and one portfolio for my standard product photography. And what I was really hoping to do is be able to have sort of a headline for that, a little description, and then a button where they could click to go to those pages. Um, but for actually more than one reason, uh, that doesn't work here. The basic layout of the Constant Contact website builders on the left side here, you've got uh, your content and what your website actually looks like. And on the right side, we've got various different elements 
that we can add and take away from our design. And I think one of the things that was missing here is sort of the consistency on each different element of having all of the different options presentable. So you could have title, subtitle, description, and and button uh, would be you know really helpful in this case. And kind of a few times working with the, this builder, I kind of ran into those sort of issues where I really wanted to be able to do one more thing with the pre-made content sections that they have, and I wasn't able to do it. I recently tried another website builder called Jimdo, and it's a very similar style to the Constant Contact website builder, but I found that more consistently, I was able to get kind of the designs that I was looking for. And maybe that's just kind of, you know, Know, personal preference, the things that I liked um, Jimdo happened to be offering me. Um, but I think I would like to see a little bit more flexibility in this design, but I do overall like the fact that Constant Contact has these pre-made blocks that you can get started with. It's a really quick way um, to get your website up and running and going. The other thing I like about this too is that once you've put in your content, if you decide that you don't really like this specific layout, you can actually go and you can sort of slide between the various different layouts that they offer and you can sort of see what that looks like and how your content is gonna look in those various different layouts. So I think that's kind of a cool feature and that works for all of the different uh, sections that they offer. So that's kind of nice. The Constant Contact Website Builder also does offer a blog functionality and there's several different layouts that you can have for how your blog items appear on your blog feed page. Constant Contact also does allow you to have various different blog categories, but I'm not too sure how helpful that is. It's more like a filter for your blogs if you had a bunch of posts by different categories, but it's not actually creating different category pages. So I'd say that that's a nice feature, but I think that the Constant Contact Website Builder is really more of a tool that's used if you just need some very basic blog functionality and if blogging isn't a main part of what you're trying to do with your website, if it's just, if it's just an additional thing that you'd like to add. Of course, being Constant Contact, uh, there are forms that you can add and uh, ways of capturing people's email addresses. So that could be definitely useful if that's something that you want to do. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how you add pages and modify the menu of your website. So to add pages, up here at the top, we've got this page icon. Right now it's showing home. These are all the pages that I have. We can go back to that page overview that I was showing you where you can sort of see all of your different pages that you have. And then also under this block here, we've got navigation management. And this here is where you can reorder your menu items and you can add new menu items. Now, the one thing I was disappointed about with the menu options is that there's no way to build a sub-menu item. So, for example, for my portfolios, I wanted to have one menu item on my website up here that said portfolios, and then in a drop-down, have an item for fire photography, standard product photography, etc. Um, but unfortunately, this is all you get. You can't have sub-items. So, everything that you want to have in your menu needs to fit in the limited amount of space up at the top of your website. One of the last things I wanna to touch on is the customer support. And I was definitely super impressed by the customer support of Constant Contact. I come from a WordPress background, building WordPress websites, and there's a lot of themes that I like uh, for WordPress, but I can't say that customer support is a strong suit of WordPress websites. And if any of you have built a WordPress website, you know that if you're looking for support for your theme, um, you're easily waiting a day, two or three days uh, before somebody gets back to you to help you out with your question. Uh, with Constant Contact and with a couple of the other website builders that I've been testing recently uh, who have their own platforms, it's super fast. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, um, I had a question about the menu item. And so what I did is I just clicked this little question icon went to the support center and then just did chat with an advisor. And within like five or 10 minutes, somebody was there helping me, they answered my question. And that kind of support, especially if you're new to building websites or if you're just trying to get your website done in a hurry, is an amazing benefit to an easy to use website builder like this. So my overall impressions of Constant Contact after taking a look at it is that it's a really good website builder if you're not expecting too much and if you have a very simple idea and you don't want too many pages, in those kind of scenarios, you can definitely get a website going super quickly, um, get it up and running. I see this website builder as a good tool if you're building like a restaurant website or some other very small service-based website where you're not gonna have a lot of pages, um, you're probably not gonna be blogging too much, but you just need to get something up and running really quickly. I also see this as a good tool as a starting point to get your first website up. If you're something you just need a website and you need it done in an hour or two um, so you can show something, this would be a good tool that you could use to get a website up and running 
really quickly while you're building a more advanced website later on. If you guys want to see some more website building tutorials, definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be checking out all of the different main website builders, and I'll be linking to my top recommended website builder video in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.